Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this series of videos, we will be focusing our attention on the steel connection workflow for designing gusset connections for a variety of different vertical bracing situations. The different vertical brace joints that we have available in RAM Connection Standalone include the column beam brace joint, the vertical X brace joint, a chevron brace, and also a column base with a gusset connection. Each of these different joints have different column, beam, and brace sections that are permitted to be used in that connection type, and several of these particular joints can also support seismic provisions. We will now turn our attention to our RAM Connection Standalone application. And as you can see, I've already set up several different types of joints that are available within RAM Connection Standalone that will require gusset style connections. For this video, we're going to be focusing on this first joint, which is a CBB style joint. This would be a column beam brace joint. Now, gusset plate connections can be assigned directly through the connections database using the templates area on your screen, or you can go to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, click on the assign option, and then find your gusset plate connections. Now, all gusset plate connections are technically smart connections, but they're organized in a separate category here. Any of the connection templates that start with the acronym CBB for column beam brace would be appropriate for a column beam brace joint. Now we do have several different joint types. We have some options for double angles, single plates, and also directly welded connections. I'm going to go ahead and assign a couple of these just so we can get a familiarity with what each of these connection templates would look like for our particular joint. Let's start with one of the double angle options. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. RAM connection will assign the connection template and then I can review what that would look like. Now here what I can see is that a double angle is basically attaching this gusset plate to the column and also the beam member to the column as well. Now the single plate option would be very similar except instead of a double angle we'd see a shear plate connection type. Lastly let's go ahead and review what the directly welded option. So I'm going to go with a CBB DW. The connection template was assigned and then I can see for this particular option basically the gusset plate would be welded directly to the column. So the three different connection types, your double angle, your single plate, and your directly welded basically all govern how the gusset plates are attached to the column members. And here I can see the directly welded has a double angle on the beam member. This is the connection type I'm going to go with for this particular joint. Now after successfully assigning a connection and choosing this template for that, I'm going to take a look in the joint selection area and here I'm going to see the status of the connection design. For my particular joint, my interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and it is in green which means that I don't have any errors or warnings for this particular connection. As I'm taking a look at this, though, there may be some different items that I want to modify or change or customize per my company standards. So we can customize this joint. To do that, we're going to click on our edit icon available in the design tab of the ribbon toolbar and click on the gusset connection. This will bring up our connection pad for our gusset connection. Now anything within this interfaces area you can customize per your company standards or per your liking. Each area that's able to be edited is governed by this interfaces area. So for my particular model I have a right beam and I have two right braces, one for the upper level, one for the lower level. So those are the interfaces I could take a look at. And these basically govern how those members are either attached to the gusset or how that particular gusset is attached to the column and beam members. 
For me, I'm taking a look at the attachment of the braces to the gusset, and I would rather, instead of doing a bolted connection here, do a welded connection. So these are right braces, so let's start with the upper right brace. So I'm going to select the appropriate interface, and then the program's going to ask me, well, what sub-interface within that area you, do you want to look at? And I want to go to the gusset to brace connection. This is what I'm looking at right here. So let me go ahead and scroll on down, and I can see that it's set as a bolted connection. Well, I can change this to a welded connection, and basically what would happen is that the brace would then be welded directly to the gusset plate. Now, as I make changes, I'm always going to take a look in the ribbon toolbar to see if my interaction ratio has changed, if it has turned to red or yellow, indicating either a warning or error. I'm not in that category, so I'm thinking that this is acceptable as a detailing for this particular joint. Let me go ahead and work on the lower right brace as well. And again, I'm working specifically on the gusset to brace connection. And I'm going to change this from bolted to welded. Now, as I take a look at this connection, this looks a little bit closer to what I was looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and save this to that particular joint. Now before I go and exit out of the connection pad, let's first take a look at some of the options we have available here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this optimize icon. Now the way this icon works for gusset connections is if you make any changes, you can ask the program to re-optimize based on some of the customizations that you asked for. So I'm going to go ahead and click re-optimize, and then it's going to kind of re-review that connection type that I have currently selected. It'll take a look at things like weld sizes, length of plate, and so forth. And it'll go ahead and give me a more, a more optimum solution. So after invoking the optimization process, I can see that the connection types for the interfaces of the brace to gusset were stayed the same. But then it did optimize some other connection parameters. And again, as I'm reviewing this, this is a little closer to what I was looking for. Let me go ahead and select the DXF tab, and I can see exactly what is going to be detailed for this particular joint. Now, this DXF view can be customized as far as font size and selecting different layers. I can also export this to a DXF. The last thing I'm going to take a look at is the connection report. So I can access that by clicking on the results icon. Within this report, I will be given the outcome of each of the different connection checks that were performed on each of the interfaces within this particular connection. If I would like any additional information, a little bit more regarding the calculations that were performed, I can click on the View Formulas icon. And then RAM connection will display all of the formulas and values that were used for each of the variables. At this point, I'm ready to close out of the connection report. Um, I did want to save my customization, so I'm going to click Save again. And then I can exit out of the connection pad. And here I can see that my connection has been updated. I can see the results of the customizations I made, and I can see the new updated interaction ratio in the joint selection area. At this point, this concludes my process for assigning a gusset connection for a column beam brace joint. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.